Well, good morning, Wi-Fi land all over the world today. We greet you once again in the worthy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, uh, I don't know how it is where you are in the world, but in California, where I live, that it's said that churches, many churches, are opening today. I wonder about that. I didn't know the church had ever closed. You know... Christ Church is a church that He is the head of, and every believer is connected to Him, a member of His body. In Revelation 3.8, the Lord Jesus said to the church of Philadelphia, I set before thee an open door that no man can close, no man can shut. Listen, if you're thinking today, well, my church didn't open up, I'm wondering what church you're going to, what church you're a part of. See, we think about going to church. If, if that's your thought, and you have been a, not been able to go to church, you're missing. You, if you're saved, you're a member of the body of Christ. You are a, a little part of Christ's church. And you're to be doing, you're to be doing, you're to be doing the work of the ministry. Because Christ has set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. So we're not the church of the closed door, we're the church of the open door. In Revelation 4, 1, John said, Behold, a door was opened in heaven. Hallelujah. For Christ's church, there's a door opened in heaven for us. We look heavenly. We don't look around to the left and right and see what's going on in the world today. Not that we're ignorant of it, but our hope and our citizenship and our Savior is in heaven. And John said, He set before me an open door. Hallelujah. So, we're the church of the open door. Hallelujah. But I'll tell you what, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, there's the church of the closed door. Now, if you're a part of that church, you've got a problem. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man open the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. See, the church of the closed door, that's not Christ's church. That's the church of Laodicea. That's the one he's going to spew out of his mouth. That, that's the false church. That's the anti-church. If you're a part of that church, and all you do is moan and groan because you don't go to the meeting, you don't go to church, well, listen, my friend, then you're not a part of Christ's church, and you need to trust Him as your Lord and Savior so that you, instead of going to church, you will be a part with Christ and every believer in Christ's church. Praise His name. Trust Him today in Jesus' name. 